everybody, what is up and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about this awesome, awesome guitar. This is a Sweetwater exclusive. This is the PRS Custom 24 Charcoal Quilt Top and like I said, it's a Sweetwater exclusive and check this bad boy out. Look at that. Amazing quilted maple top. Super awesome looking guitar. Super awesome look on the back. I mean, check that thing out, man. You can't go wrong with that. That thing's awesome. It's crazy. Um, so if you guys haven't watched it, my last video that came out, I did a, a video about this one right here. This is the Custom 24 Quilt Top <coughs> in Turquoise. Um, I went through that whole thing, played it, did everything. Introduced this little bad boy. Um, just a little bit in that video and I wanted to do a separate video on this because this is a sweet water, water ugh, I can't say that for some reason this is a sweet water exclusive and I wanted to showcase it as that and stuff and not tie it into this one as much even though they're the same guitars um, sweet water um, the exclusive part of that if you guys are wondering why it's exclusive what's so different it's because this is the charcoal quilted top um, that's exclusive to Sweetwater. So if you want the charcoal version of the Custom 24, and these are the 2024 version guitars. These are the new ones that just came out. So these are for 2024 for this coming year. Um, and that's what's cool about it. And this is the one that Sweetwater got for their exclusive. Um, they are the same guitar in every spec other than that, other than the, the, the tops on them. But I'm going to read the specs off to you. I'll play this one a little bit. I played that one a little bit for you guys. You guys heard that. You know what it sounds like. It sounds just like this one. It's literally the same guitar. And in that video, um, I originally got this one first, and I loved it so much that I went ahead and bought this one because Sweetwater is doing this crazy deal until the end of the year. And um, hopefully this video still comes out in 2023. Um, should. But uh, they're doing this crazy deal until the end of this year. You can get $200 off of these guitars. And I definitely took advantage of that and bought two of them, um, which is a little nuts. Um, I'm not rich. I don't have a ton of money. But I couldn't pass this up because these guitars are amazing. So I jumped on it, bought two of them, and I couldn't be happier with these guitars. So let me grab my phone. Let's read the specs off just in case you didn't watch that other video so you guys get the specs real quick. And then I'll do a little bit of playing for you, and we'll wrap it up. So, the specs on this guitar are, it's a solid body, if you couldn't figure that out. It's a PRS double cut. Um, the body is mahogany. Um, the top is a, a maple cap with a quilted maple veneer. That's also this one. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a quilted maple top veneer. Um, I didn't say that in the other video, but they're both veneers. Got a gloss finish. This is the charcoal color. Um, the neck is maple. Um, it's got that... Um, Thin pattern uh, neck shape on it, the C thin pattern neck shape. It's got a set neck joint, 10 inch radius, ebony fingerboard. Um, it's the signature SE inlays with the, the doves on it, which they have 25 um, inch scale length. Um, the nut width is 1.6875 for those of you matter. Um, the nut material is proprietary to PRS, but this one it says it's synthetic. It didn't say it on the last one I read. Um, the Tremella bar is the PRS patented Tremella that PRS has. PRS design tuners. 8515 pickups in the neck and the bridge. Um, one volume, one tone, and it's a split coil. So there you guys go. That is um, the deal. And they come with just, if you guys wonder, 9 to 42 strings. I will change those out eventually um, for 10s because I like gauge 10s a little better. But I will play these strings until they break. So, out of the box, um, these guitars come up, set up very well. I did make a slight adjustment to the neck. I lowered the action just a little bit on it um, for my liking, but it was set up very well out of the box. And I said this in my last video over these guitars, that both of these guitars were set up exactly the same. So, it's really cool to see that that consistency is there with it. And all I had to do was make a little adjustment on my neck to lower it down a little bit more because they had a little bit of a bow in it. And I took that bow out a little bit more to drop the strings down to the height that I like and take a little bit of that bow out because I don't like, uh, I don't really like, I like my neck to be more flat and not have too much of a bow in it. So I did that and that's all I did to this guitar. Um, sounds really, really good. Um, they play really well. They're amazing guitars. I can't say enough about these finishes. The fit and finish is awesome. This has got a bound body, bound neck, bound headstock. 
Um, I love the wood backing on it. The guitar necks are super smooth, super thin, easy to play. I have medium to large hands. I'm not a medium, but I'm not a large. And this guitar is very easy to play. I said this in my last video. I can really get down here on the... On the lower frets. And it's really nice to be able to do that. And um, the guitar just plays like a dream. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I, I grant and rave about this one. And, and they're just they're just great guitars. PRS makes amazing guitars. They're one of my favorite companies. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know my three top guitars that I love are Schecter, ESP, and PRS. Um, and they're all just amazing. And I will tell you right now, and I didn't say this in my last review, but I'll say it in this one, that I put this on the level of my Schecter Silver Mountains. And you guys, anybody that's been following the channel knows I love my Silver Mountains because I actually own two of those. I have... The Blood Moon one right there, and then I have the, the silver and black one over there. And I love my Schecter Silver Mountains. Love them. And these are on par with those 100% in my opinion. They are just right on there. I've been playing guitar style of these. I actually keep both of these in the house, and I'm playing them every day and, and, and just jamming out with them and really enjoying them. And I just I can't say enough about them. I would gig with these. I would tour with these. I wouldn't think anything about it. Um, like I said, these guitars, um, price-wise right now, is $7.99. Um, they are going up. They'll, I think the, the price for them out come the first of the year is going to be $9.99. So I would definitely say take on, that, um, take on that sale if you can right now. I would definitely jump on it. They come in, um, they come in the turquoise. They come in a purple. Um, they have the Sweet Loader exclusive gray. And they also have uh, orange, which is I think is a Sweet Loader exclusive as well. Um, um, correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I think the the, the, the gray the charcoal and the orange are actually exclusives to Sweet Loader. And then the purple and the turquoise are the ones that aren't. Um, but I will tell you, I bought this one. This one actually was a demo. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, it was just a demo guitar. It was in mint condition, so I bought that one. I saved an extra 100 bucks, so I actually got $300 off on that guitar. Um, got two hundred dollars off on this one, and what's really great about Sweetwater is they're they're doing like they were doing when I got mine. They were doing forty eight month financing, so I financed the guitars, and it was seventeen dollars a month per guitar. So that comes out to thirty four bucks a month for these two guitars um, for forty eight months, um, no interest, zero interest for forty eight months as long as you pay it off in the forty eight months. And that's how I get a lot of gear. I buy it and then I pay it off, you know. And I just usually pay a little bit more. I usually pay a couple hundred bucks a month. You know, in a couple months, it's paid off, and then I get some new stuff. Now, I wasn't planning on buying two guitars. Um, I had no intentions on buying any more guitars for a while. But when I saw these and they came out and then they had the deal, I just, I jumped on it. You know, I'm a guitar junkie. What can I say? I love guitars, and I have a lot of guitars. And no, I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world, and I'm not some famous guitar player. But I just love guitars, man. I like gear. I mean, if you guys can't tell, I like gear. I mean, I like having different things to play in because it inspires me. My gear inspires me. I love having different amps around. I plug in, get different sounds, do different things. It all inspires me. And guitars can be one of the most inspiring things out there. And the way these are cut and just the way they feel, I mean, I I, I can't speak highly enough about these guitars. So let me give you guys a couple sounds on this one just so you can hear it, just like you heard this one. I'm going to go over here, step on my pedal right here, go to my clean channel. And for those of you that are wondering, uh, I try to say this in every video, I'm running this guitar into my Boss GT1000, which is running into my Orange Crush Pro 120 over here with an Orange 212 cabinet. And then I am recording off of my XY mics that are on my, this is a Zoom, uh, what is it, H4? What is this thing called again? I can't even remember. Um, this is the Zoom Q8N 4K. I always forget. I've got a couple Zoom products, but this Zoom, um, yeah, the Q Zoom Q8N, and, and it films in 4K, which I don't film in 4K, but it does do 4K. But that's what I'm using. That's what I like to use. It works for me. Um, it may not work for you, but that's what works for me because it just makes it easy, and I'm going to keep it simple, stupid guy. So, no, the cabinet is not mic'd up. It's just recording off the XY mics off of my camera, and um, that's what we're doing. And we're going to play some clean tones. Now, I'm going to split the coils because I like to do that. I'm going to go in the middle position, and we will give you some sounds. Is that what I want to do? No, I don't want to do that. Ah, 
Sometimes you just mess up. Let's start that over. <laughs> That's split coils, split coils in the middle position. We're gonna go up to the neck position and we are gonna play another clean riff for you guys. I got butterfingers today. Okay, let's try that again. go sorry for the mistakes but it happens and I don't cut my mistakes out um so yeah because I make them and I don't care how long you've been playing you're gonna make mistakes but I flub notes man it happens nobody plays things perfectly all the time so and I like to leave that stuff in because that is being real you know I'm not the the sliced edit, edit master and I do do a little bit of editing but I think you guys should see that stuff nobody plays perfectly you know all this perfect stuff that people think are in the world is crazy but let's do some distortion sounds for you guys now if you guys are wondering what that clean channel was, that was my 12 strung. Um, that's the 12 strung effect on the Boss GT1000. So now we're using this is actually the X. Um, this is X dry drive for my distortion, and this is what I get out of that. <laughs> with split coils holy crap i forgot to push that down i don't like to do my distortion on split coils but hey tell me how that sounded because it sounded pretty good so let's do that again some distortion yeah okay so yeah so see I make mistakes I get in a hurry I do crazy stuff that's how it happens did it with the split coils did it without the split coils um so there you guys you guys got a little two-tone action for that so that was kind of cool but yeah this guitar sounds really really good um I like it a lot um just really really just just jams out man just jams out let's do another riff and this is a riff I played in my last video but I like this riff so I'm gonna play it again <laughs> just play like a dream I mean I don't know what to tell you um, they just play like a dream let me do a little uh, I guess leady thing for you <laughs> Thank you. 
guys get the gist. Um, it's a really nice guitar. Plays really good. Sounds really good. Lots of fun. Very light, too. I love how light these guitars. I think each one of these was like, I want to say this one was like 7.1. I think both of these are about 7.14 pounds um, is what they were. They were 7-something pounds a piece um, on both of them. If you guys are wondering the weight, that's the nice thing about Sweetwater. Um, you can actually see the size and weight, and you can see the guitar. You can pick the actual one you get. If you find a top you like, you can buy that one. That's the one you get. I really enjoy that about Sweetwater. Um, as I said in my last video, Sweetwater has become kind of my go-to place to go. I used to be a guy that liked Musician's Friend a lot, but once they merged with Guitar Center, they went to shit. Um, ironically, um, I actually just tried to do some stuff with Sweet... I mean, not Sweetwater, with Musician's Friend and had a bad experience with that. Um, and uh, the last couple experiences I had were just bad, and I just stopped doing now. If I'm getting guitar cables or a guitar case or something like that, I don't mind going through them. But as far as buying guitars, I won't buy guitars through them anymore because they just, it's horrible. And the last two guitars that I bought from them that shipped to me, um, they ended up sending them, they didn't come from the factory. They pulled them from a guitar center and they packaged them horribly. And I, if you guys go back and watch my videos, one of the guitars, the headstock literally, and it was a used guitar, but it had come through it was the headstock was like through the box and there was no padding or nothing in it and if you guys see my what the fuck ups videos and what the fuck guitar center videos you'll see this box that i had that was smashed as shit and it had a bass in it and i can't even believe the bass was in one piece now the bass did get a little dinged up and i did complain about it and stuff but i kept the bass because it's it plays good and stuff but i was a little pissed off and they didn't do anything to really compensate me for it either so um, and it was too much of a hassle to try to send it back and go through all that. So the bass is, in, is good and it's fine. It did get a little ding on it, but, you know, they should take more responsibility for that. So that's why I like Sweetwater. So Sweetwater, definitely great customer service. And, and so far I haven't had any issues with them. And, and I hope they stay that way. I hope they keep doing business the way they're doing because it's awesome. So let's wrap this up. Um, Sweetwater Custom 24. This is the 2024 model in the custom charcoal quilted top this is an amazing guitar i highly recommend you picking one up super awesome front back great great guitar whether you no matter what style of music you want to play i would definitely buy one of these and this this exclusive one is is just amazing it's beautiful i love the charcoal color it's actually one of my favorite colors on guitars. I love my turquoise one that's sitting here as well. I don't regret buying any, either of these. And if I had the money, I would buy the purple one too. But I, I've got to pay these two off before I can do that. So hopefully that purple one will be around for a while. Because I have a feeling it might show up in my studio. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe button. Um, anybody that's gotten any of these guitars, tell me what your thoughts are on it. Um... You know, like I said, I'm a big PRS fan. I own five of them now. I have zero regrets. So definitely check these guitars out if you get a chance. And that's all I got for you guys. So we'll see you on the next video. You guys take care.